Pole breaker versus Inting Scion. Yes or no? I just got damaged, man. Like, if the, if the guy's Inting into you, try to get plates, whatever, I mean, just kill him. And just keep killing him. Build early armor pen. I would, I would go Kraken. And honestly, you can even go second time surreal this if he's building a lot of armor. But if he's not, if he's building a like hole breaker shit, um, just go Navori and Lord Doms. Subthon's gone on a long time. What's up, guys? This video is sponsored by Mech Arena. Don't have time for overly long shooters like you used to anymore? Look no further because Mech Arena is the perfect game for you. You can play two or even three matches in under 10 minutes and have an incredible amount of fun. The maps are specifically designed to keep you in combat with constant encounters and respawns. I'm going to drop you some of my gameplay. As you can see, right out of spawn, you can practically encounter the entire team making it easy to start fighting right away. I'm not going to let these two mechs take over our control point, so I snuck behind them both and got a double kill. This month introduces Battle Pass Section 6, where you can get your hands on great new skins, weapons, and a new pilot Asami. Mech Arena is getting huge, and that means bigger prices, competition, and fun. Mech Arena is completely free to play on Android and iOS right now. Use my link in the description or scan my QR code to get $45 worth of bonuses. You get one Steel Reaper skin, 500 acorns, and 70,000 credits to kickstart your game. Don't wait around and get into the arena right now. <laughs> This Darius is a big time clicker. I'm getting my second wind and Dorn Shield reproc there. I'm gonna let my Dorn Shield take as much as possible and then I'm gonna use my potion as the scratch just in the turret. I still have my Ignite and my Flash Up. So I can outplay anything from the Darius. So I got the spin damage on him, and I avoided his Q handle. I could wait for level 3, but I'll just use Q now, and then I'll just use Q again for level 3. So I'm coming health back up with my Doran Shield Second Wind. Down a little bit of CS, but he's also down his ghost, which is pretty big in Nolan. So, I baited out his E, and I was e able to use the baited out E in order to set Nolan uh, with my Ignite, proccing Nimbus Cloak in my W. So, there's a lot of small movements I'm doing to try to bait out his Q, bait out his whatever, and that's how I'm getting inside this Q handle. So it's not as simple as I'm probably making it look. It's like, there's a lot of complicated macro movements that are uh, helping me like bait out his Q, bait out his shit. And like even the dodge on the E, I like walked inside his E range and then walked right back out. A lot of little things, guys. You don't have second wind fog? Oh. I'm so used to having second wind. That I thought I had it. It felt like I had it. But it's just Doran Shield being OP. <laughs> Thank you for pointing out Spectra. But at least I let the Doran Shield stay out. 
We won't go ghost anymore? Oh, I'm just... I I'm just doing a fun build right now. Like, as far as the build goes, first game, I'm just doing, like, a high move speed build for the fun of it. Like, I'm kind of just playing, like, whatever build I want, just for the fun of it. Like, playing the same build, same champion, over and over again, all day, every day, shit gets boring. I like to switch it up. Wait, why is this guy so much faster? I'm just dead. Yo, he caught up with that? Like, before ghosting, he caught up with his Q when I had Zerkers. Was I not running straight back, or was I running on an angle? So, with the CDR boots, here's the idea with CDR boots, is that your mid-game will be stronger at the cost of, like, an early-game spike. So, it really depends, it depends on matchup. And, like, if you get fed early, and you can afford to go CDR boots, like, you don't need the damage, you can absolutely do that. For early game. Otherwise, you should go Zerks. We could have used refills earlier. Oh, I was so dead. I mean, he had ghost running, man. It didn't matter. Like, he still had, like, a full three ticks of bleed left. An ally has been slain. You generally feel that with Teemo when you have like a hundred plus moves behind people. They just like catch up anyways. You know. See, the thing is when I play Teemo, I just get like one shot by absolutely everything. And if I go full tank, it's so fucking unfun, I don't want to play. Oh, I was trying to bait it out. I was trying to bait out his back step. Three sixty five move speed at three ninety seven. Oh, I actually have so much more move speed over him. Is it still going? Yes. An ally has been slain. An enemy has been slain. This will be a yeah, in two hours I'll be free. Fuck, why no music? I'm just chilling in this game. Last game I was trying to go like hype with it, and then it got really disappointed by my team. I actually couldn't win a 4v2 situation when I'm 1v2 and brought a third one back to kill me. Ghost Flash for not kill. Worth. If Darius had gotten another auto attack on me, I would have died because the bleed would have reapplied and then another bleed tick would have hit me 
after my ult ended and I didn't have Q. You point points in R after nurse. The only thing that would make me put points in R is if they made the health post ulti more than it is. Like if they made it so like Trimmer's ulti is like like maybe they nerfed some other part of his kit, but then they made it so Trimmer's ulti gives him like 10, 15, 20% of his HP back or something, or like a flat amount. I would take it then. But there's no real benefit of taking it. This'll be a slaughter. Like the ult itself isn't stronger per bubble. It's literally just pulled out. And cooldown is like fine and all, but it's whatever. I'm not gonna be buying CDR boots in the like next few games just because I'm like playing around with the new build. I still push towards me. Wait, Kapatic is literally uh, a prophet. He said Darius will be dead again by 13 minutes. I literally killed him within 30 Killing seconds. Spree. Holy shit. I PD first. I was fucking around. Playing with like very high move speed. So I'm gonna go PD and then I'm gonna go Gale Force. We already had our power hour for today, uh, Thumb Thief. We had it earlier on. This'll be a slaughter. Is he mad or what? What's up with him? He decided he didn't want minions or what? Yeah, Ezra hosted me this morning. I see how this move speed is like helping with this matchup now. Where it's the, uh, it feels pretty good. I think Dino will still try to go for me, but I'll be able to outpace it. Because of PD. I waste a lot of time. Shut down. Would you say Holebreaker Russia and Trinity Force is valuable right now for Trinmere? No. 
Like, if you go Hullbreaker first, you're sacrificing a lot, man. Like, I'm trying to think of a matchup where Hullbreaker first be fine. And then you go Trinity for, like, turret hitting, right? Um, I'm probably gonna go Gale Force for this game, just for movement speed. Tips I'm playing into Cho. Well, I actually updated Cho'Gath for the spreadsheet. My right, Cho'Gath is uh, updated. Hey, Sine 11 Hey, thank you for the three gifted subs. I appreciate it. Thank you, thank you, thank you. But, um, I mean, basically, Cho, man, biggest thing is that you're looking for his animation for his Q and looking to dodge it. That's, that's a single, like, biggest thing you can learn in that matchup, right? Like, learning how to dodge Shogath's shit. Alright, you learn how to dodge Shogath cues during the middle of an all-in. And, like, you keep your mouse close to your character. So that you can make those little micro-movements. Like, that's what's going to get you a kill on Shogath. More so than good positioning. More so than, like, wave manipulation. More so than, like, being, being ahead. Because you can be as ahead as you want on trend. But if Chokath lands IQ on you, it's like engage over. Because it's just a big knock up into a big slow. On a very low cooldown, he just walks away. It is not a power hour where you have already had it. Oh, Darius did the uh, blue buff. What? First, real quick. Do you think Trimmer is broken? Trimmer's fun. He could be oppressive to play against. He's very mobile, does lots of damage. And also very easy to counterplay with effective CC and kite. He's also very squishy. Unless he builds to be durable at the cost of a lot of damage from a building. And his main source of damage is auto attacks. So counter like a lot of those things and like you can be uptrend. Into battle.
I mean, they're just trying to 1v1 me there, basically. <laughs> I thought he might go on me. I was like sitting there waiting. Killing Outrunning ghost? Well, I mean, I gale forced away and I spun away. And I have a lot of move speed. Right now, he has 0% like bonus move speed. Whereas I have 7%, plus I just autoed, which gave me another 7%, so 14%. Plus an extra 2% from this, so it's 16%. Most speed I had. Kill. Like running away, plus I go forced and spawn. And he still almost caught me. In fact, he did catch up to me, but it's just the Vigo couldn't keep up. I think she regrets her decision to come up and help. Why did I do this build? Just because I want to outplay people with high move speed. I think it's pretty fun. Like, my autos are hitting like a wet noodle. But, I got a lot of noodles. <laughs> Look, if you got more noodles than the next guy, then uh, you're probably going to win. Walls counter noodles, yeah. True. I love Trinmere. Me too. There are a bunch of fun builds like this I'm running that run at like 90%. just isn't as good as like staying with them. I 
am your worst nightmare. Uh, Viserys is just dead, right? Because he's like, he came and killed Superman. My guy can't kill a super minion. Like he's got no damage. An enemy has been slain. There shall be a Um, two are there. Um, who's defending me? Ezreal? <laughs> Alright, well that's GG. If def if if Ezreal's the defense. Wait. I didn't have any minions. I mean, still GG. I mean, he got me though. I hit 2.63 attack speed there. Yeah, fun. 